Hello and welcome to today's Open Dental's webinar on chart views. Today we are going to be discussing how we can edit the default view within the chart module, as well as how we are going to be able to create custom views and how we can print progress notes. To start, we're going to want to make sure we are on the show tab within the chart module. Coming in, we are going to see that we are by default on our default view. With that, we have our different procedures and object types selected. To go over very quickly what these different checkboxes mean, uh, under procedures here, treatment plan, very straightforward. Anything that is in treatment plan status is going to be shown in this view. That also goes for our completed status. So any procedure that has been completed will be shown anything under existing. This is going to refer to our existing other and existing current statuses that we have when entering in treatment. If we have that selected, they will be shown as well. Having the referred checkbox here checked is going to allow you to see any procedures that are being referred out to a different office or a different specialty. Having your conditions selected is going to allow you to see any types of procedures with a CN status. That is going to stand for conditions. Moving down a little bit further down here to proc notes. Proc notes is going to show any procedure notes, any com log text, the body of emails, any appointment notes, and task details of corresponding procedures or object types. Selected T here is very straightforward. If you are only wanting to see certain procedures for a certain tooth, let's say, for example, tooth 14, I only want to see that. If I select selected teeth, the view is going to change automatically to only show me the procedures and notes associated with tooth 14. And this is very useful if you are looking for any types of details regarding any kind of work that has been done on a specific tooth. All right, and moving on to our object types here. Object types are going to be our appointments, com log, tasks, email, lab cases, Rx, and sheets. Appointments here is going to be checked if you want to see appointments. As you can see down here at the bottom of my view, we have an appointment for Mr. Hodges today. Mr. Hodges is coming in for two fillings. If I did not want to see this appointment in my chart view, I can just simply check this checkbox. The appointment details are gone. The yellow highlighted procedures will still remain because that is letting me know that this patient is coming in today for these procedures. Moving down to com log, having this checked is going to allow you to see any com logs that have been entered for this patient or for their family if we have their family selected as well. Having the family selected is going to allow you to see any kind of uh, messages that have been entered regarding these family members. Moving down to tasks, if you have the task checkbox checked, this is gonna show any tasks that are attached to the patient and family members. What that means is that if you are sending a task to another office staff and you have this patient selected, whether it be to the front office or the back office, that will show here in our chart view. Email, very straightforward, is going to allow you to see the body of an email that has been sent to this patient. Lab cases is going to show you any lab cases that are currently out, currently completed, or that need to be sent out for this patient. Having the Rx box checked is going to allow you to see any prescriptions or medications that have been prescribed to this patient, and they will show here in the view as well. Having the sheets checkbox checked is going to allow you to view any forms that the patient has filled out and signed within your chart view. If you do not want to see any of those patient forms, simply uncheck this and that will hide them from your view. Moving down to the show auto com logs. Show auto com logs are going to show any type of entry that is automatically entered. This can come from recalls, FIHRs web schedule, and more. Having this checked will allow those uh, autom automatic com logs to be visible on your chart view. Moving down to the audit option here, if we are to select the audit option, what that is gonna do is that is going to change my view 
into what we call the audit view. The audit view is gonna allow you to see and include any deleted procedures and deleted sheets within this chart. Something to be noted is that procedures cannot be edited in audit mode. Likewise, if you find a deleted sheet within the chart view in audit mode and you want to restore it to that patient's forms, simply double click on the form itself and click restore. Finally, we have the ISTP view. So the ISTP view is going to add a treatment plan checkbox to the Enter Treatment tab. To give you a visual of that, if we head over to the first tab here, the Enter Treatment, we can see that we have this little treatment plan checkbox. So what this is gonna do is by clicking on this, we can see that all of those lovely procedures and notes have disappeared and instead we now see what we would typically see in our treatment plan module. By having the ISTP view selected, what that's going to allow you to do is view any active and inactive treatment plans while you are still in the chart module. It's also going to allow you to create a new treatment plan. This will allow you to save time so you don't have to flip between the treatment plan and the chart and you're able to get it all done in one go. One thing to keep in mind is when you are creating a new chart view, the ISTP view is checked by default. Another thing to keep in mind is when you are in your treatment plan view, saved treatment plans are not going to be visible. If you are wanting to see your saved treatment plans, you will have to navigate over to the treatment plan module. This is only gonna show active and inactive treatment plans. All right, and getting that unchecked and going back to our show tab, we'll now move on over to our date range. To change the start and stop date that you are searching through, instead of seeing all dates here, you'll want to click on the three dots right next to it. And that's going to bring up our date range filter. Some standard ones that we have are all today, yesterday, this year, and last year. If none of those suit your fancy, what we can do is create a custom date range. All right, and with our custom date range selected, I can go ahead and click OK. And that is going to change my view to only show me any procedures or notes that are in between the dates that I have selected. Also within the date range filter, if you are wanting one specific date in particular, you can just hit those three dots one more time. Instead of having the date range like we do here, we can go ahead and just simply enter in the start date and the end date as the exact same date. What that will do is that's gonna tell the system, I only want to look at this specific date. That will pull up all procedures and notes for that specific singular day. Going back to create that all so we can see everything again. Another fun feature within the chart module is going to be our search feature. The search feature is very useful if you are needing to find something very specific very quickly. What you can use to search is any procedure code, any user, or any keywords that are you're looking for. So if I'm looking for anything in regards to an extraction, I can type in extraction and I'm going to see the only two procedures within this patient's chart involving the extraction. Likewise, if I'm only going to want to see what my provider DB has been using, I can simply just put in his abbreviation here and I can see that Dr. Baxter is a tied to three procedures, one complete and two of them are going to be completed today. This is very helpful if you are wanting to find any type of note signed or created by a doctor or a provider and you are needing it quickly to get it printed off. Moving on on how to create a new chart view, what you'll simply need to do is under here, under chart views, we can see we have the default. To create a new one, we will go ahead and click this add button here at the bottom. For this example, I'm going to create a progress notes view. 
and just how I went over the procedures and object types that we have access to outside of the chart view edit, we also have inside the chart view edit. What this will allow us to do is it can create the custom view that you are wanting from the get-go. So you don't have to change any of these settings. They're already changed for you. For example, in the progress notes view, I'm gonna say, I don't wanna see any of my appointments. I don't really wanna see any prescriptions or lab cases or sheets for this patient. I'm gonna keep the email and tasks just in case because that is gonna be all internal information that I may need in the future. Because this is a progress notes view, I'm gonna deselect the is TP view that was selected by default. Moving down to the bottom here, you're gonna see fields showing as well as your available fields. Fields showing are gonna be any of the columns that are being shown in a view at any given time. Available fields are gonna be all of the different columns that can be added. For this example, for the progress notes view, I have decided I do not want to have an amount in there. So I don't want the patient to see this if I'm gonna be handing it to them. So I can single click on the line item here, click on the right arrow and remove it from my field showing. To kind of give you an example of what this looks like, we'll go ahead and create the view and go into it. All right, and now that we are in our brand new progress notes view, you, we can see that I have everything I want and everything that I don't want here. So what that's gonna do is that is going to allow me to print this off without fear of having any kind of amount or any type of information that I don't want anyone else to see. All right, and lastly, in regards to printing progress notes, one thing to keep in mind is anytime you are printing anything from the chart module, whatever is selected within your view is gonna be what is printed. For example, if I'm just in my default view and I right click and hit progress notes here, we can see that that is gonna print all the way back to 2019 for everything that is on that view. Alternatively, if I were to go just to my progress notes view and I were to create the print progress notes here, that is gonna allow me to see only what I have told the system that I want to see. Printing progress notes comes in two different features. You can either right click in the notes, uh, notes view itself and click progress notes and click print progress notes. Or we do have the little button up here at the upper left, which just says print. It will do the exact same thing. One thing to keep in mind, going back to the date range filter, if we were to have created that date range that we were wanting, and we click OK, we will see that we only have this one. Now, if I were to print the progress notes, it is only gonna show what I have asked for it to show me. All right, and with that, that is everything you need to know on chart views. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have additional questions, please call our support line at 503-563-563. 5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And to make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications.